we're going to do another little uh, update on how my fish tank's doing basically. So I'll give you a quick run through. Um, if you would have seen one of the previous videos, you would have seen I've got two new fish for this. Um, I've got a new lionfish called a Fu Manchu lionfish, or I think the guy in the shop called it a scorpion fish. I'm not quite sure. I think they're all quite similar basically. Um, and I did get a, a sargasm frogfish for this. Now, unfortunately, you can see up there, they're my two power heads. I think what happened is he did get sucked into that. He didn't do too well after and he did shortly die, which I'm absolutely gutted about. I've said about these pumps before, they're, they're bloody brilliant, but they're dangerous at the same time. They just, anything goes near and they just suck into it. Luckily, the fish I've got at the minute, they're all doing really well. They all know to avoid it. Um, but yeah, I'll just give you a little update on how the tanks go. And then what I really want to talk about is my 3D printed algae scrubber. Now, I know I keep banging on about it. I keep going on and on and on about it, but I'm I'm literally overwhelmed by how well it's doing. Um, and I, I actually did some checks, some water checks on this tank the other day, and literally everything has dropped to zero, pretty much. It's, the nitrates are a little bit higher still, but I think that's because I'm feeding quite heavy, mainly because of my panther grouper, which you can probably only just see there he is oh he's so handsome but yeah because i'm feeding him so much um where's he gone oh he's up there because i'm feeding him so much i think that's why my uh, nitrates are a little bit higher but everything else has basically dropped to zero now if you've seen down here you would have seen that i've got my big um ceramic media uh section i think that is doing a blinding job the fact that I've got a, a protein skimmer probably built for a tank three times this size on there and now that I've got the algae scrubber I think all three of them things are just benefiting this tank massively and all I'm doing at the minute is I'm literally just topping the water up I'm not doing any water changes um, I did do a huge water change before I went away last week and that was because I just wanted to make sure everything was fine while I was away and yeah everything seems to be doing spot so let me quickly See if I can give you a little update, try and find the Fu Manchu fish. He normally hides over in that corner in the cave, but yeah, we'll, we'll see if we can find him. So this is a quick look at the stocking I've got at the minute. So I've got my, I think it's called a, a white spotted puffer or a stars and stripes puffer, I'm not too sure, but he's doing absolutely amazing. I got him when he was about the size of a 50 pence piece and he's just, yeah, he's, he's massive. He's super tame, he hand feeds, which is brilliant. He is a bit of a bully, but yeah, he's doing well. Still got my vampire tang, he's doing amazing. Uh, my panther grouper, it's just if you know that I've bought these before, this is my favourite fish like ever. I don't, out of every single fish I could have chosen, this is my my go-to saltwater fish. I just think this thing is absolutely incredible. He is fairly tame. Um, I'll, I'll try and get some footage of it, but <laughs> every, because this is in my bedroom, obviously I'm I'm not in here a lot. Uh, I'm literally only in here to sleep, do some editing, and basically look at these guys. Every time I walk through my door all three of these guys they all come swimming they might all be down this end of the tank and as soon as i walk through the door because my door is literally just just here they all make a beeline and they all stop right here to have a look and check out who's coming in the room and it's quite funny i'm going to set the camera up i'll leave the room and i'll see if i can get some footage of it but it's it's it's, it's lovely to see i know they're only doing it because they associate me with food but it, it's super adorable um but yeah i, I do like it so that's the stuff that you can see. Um, now my Fu Manchu, these, these are those deadly wave makers by the way, they're, they're absolute beasts. If I show you by the size of my hand, they are quite big and I've got two of them going. Um, but that's just I want maximum flow in this tank. But the Fu Manchu, you, oh, you, you might just be able to see in that, in that little crack there, that's as much as I can zoom in unfortunately, that that little white speckled bit, that is basically his face, so he's facing outwards, but he likes to wedge himself in there. Um, he does come out of night time, he does swim around. I have seen him feed once, but that is it. So I've had him a couple of weeks and I've only seen him eat once, which is a bit worrying, but I'm hoping that because I'm feeding this little chap here quite heavily, as you can see, he's, he's fairly tame. He does spook, but he, he does come up to say hello. But yeah, I'm hoping that he is picking up some of the scraps. And then the other guy, oh, he's just poking his head out. You can see him, he's just there. Now, I can't remember what type of eel he is. He's a, just a, a moray eel. He's got like a, a granite speckled pattern. He's got, not got any real amazing colours. Um, but yeah, he's, he's in there as well. So that is the stocking for my tank. Now, you can see there's a little bit of algae growth on, on the glass. Now, like I said, it's been probably three weeks since I've changed the water. 
um, and cleaned the tank. And yeah, since then, you can see how much algae's got up. I'll quickly bring you around here just so you can, oh, you can see. Just because it's probably be easier, there's, there's hardly any algae. So there's a little bit up, up that top corner, there's a little bit here, and there's some down in that bottom corner. There's a little bit just, just here as well. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much all the algae that's built up, um, which I'm really impressed about. All the rock is completely clean. There's no algae on the rock. Again, with the sand, the sand is crystal clean. There's literally nothing on the sand. And you can see down here where the vampire tang was just pecking, there is some algae there. I leave that there just because it's good for them to have a little peck at. But yeah, I did all my water parameter checks. Everything's pretty much spot on, so I know it's going perfectly well. And I think everything I'm doing down here is a result of that. So again, if I take you back down to the sun, if you've watched my videos before, you'll know what's going on down here. So I've got my ceramic chamber there, protein skimmer there, and algae scrubber there. Now the algae, uh, the protein skimmer, you can see it's got a little bit of skim in the cup. Again, that's probably three weeks worth. I like to run my skimmer quite dry, just because I want it just to pull out particles. I don't need to keep pouring out loads of fluid and then having to top it up. And that's one of the, the benefits of having this skimmer, because it's so big, it does collect a lot of stuff. Um, and with this algae scrubber, I wanted to do a video on this basically because I've got these new timers. They're absolutely brilliant. Um, if you want me to do a standalone video on these, just talking through how I set them up and things like that, I'm more than, well, more than welcome to do it. Um, but yeah, these things are absolutely brilliant. I think you can have up to six different uh, programs on there, so whatever you need, you, you just save the programs one after the other and then you can just flick between them, which is brilliant. But yeah, if you want to see me do uh, a setting up video on this, then I'm, I'm more than happy to do that. Um, but the reason why I want you to do this video is because I want to do an update on this. I've been away for probably just over three, uh, just under three weeks, and the amount of growth in here is ridiculous. So I had this on a, a 12 hour cycle. I've now dropped it down as of today, and it's on six hour cycle. So it's going to come on at midnight, and then it's going to shut off at six in the morning. And that's because the, the aquaponic lights I've got in here, they are grow for growing plants basically. Um, I want this algae scrubber to basically be growing off the stuff that's in the water rather than the lights. So I want it to basically suck up all the nutrients in the tank and just grow from them. So because the amount of growth I'm getting on this, that's why I've cut it down to six hours. And it's gonna be interesting to see in the next two, three weeks, how much algae it actually grows compared to the last couple of months on this light cycle it was on. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna take this out today. I'm gonna to give it a good scrub, good clean. Again, weigh how much algae I've actually got in there. Like I've done my previous videos, I'm not gonna bore you with it all. I'm literally just gonna skip through it all fairly quickly. If you wanna see what I did, go back and watch my previous video. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm gonna be doing today. And yeah, you might see this is where the auto top off normally is on the Red Sea reefers. Um, I am gonna be building a separate cabinet next to this. And in there, I'm gonna add another huge media chamber. So I've got all my ceramic here. Um, I was gonna fill it with ceramic again, but I've, because I've already got that, I wanna add something different, just so it, it, it probably does exactly the same job, but it's just that I've got another thing on here. Um, I probably will be putting a UV sterilizer on this at some point as well. That's probably gonna go in this cabinet. Um, this cabinet is, I'm not gonna show you it because it is embarrassing, but I'm gonna rip this whole electrical cabinet out and I think this is where I'm gonna put the fluidized chamber and the um, UV scrubber and the auto top off. That's all gonna go in the cabinet next door so it's hidden um, and all these electrics I'm just gonna put outside in a box basically. Um, but yeah, I wanna get a fluidized bed. So like on my pond I've got downstairs, um, if you've seen that then you'll know what I'm talking about. But yeah, it's just a, another form of media that I've got on this tank just to make it bulletproof, basically. I just want this thing to run itself so I don't have to do anything to it, pretty much. That's Especially if I'm working away for any amount of time, um, that's what I want. So yeah, I'm gonna get into this now. I'm gonna take all this apart and uh, yeah, we're gonna see how much is there. I'll, I'll get like some before and after so you can see the first time I cleaned it, the second time I cleaned it, and now this time. So you, you can basically see how much growth I've got. And this is it, this is how much growth I've got again. So as you can see, is there's loads of it. It is super, super thick on here. Um, both sides really, exactly the same. You can see there's a ton of algae on there. And I'm not gonna put you through the whole scraping process again, but if I just give this a, oh, it's quite thick. I'll give this a little, 
again it gets more and more matted every single time but again yeah so you can see that's the sort of growth we're dealing with all these little squares are more filled in now and yeah that that stuff is brilliant perfect yes it's disgusting but it's there to serve a purpose which is the main thing um, and yeah I'm over the moon so what I'll do is again I'll show you the first time that I cleaned it just so you can see how much algae was on there um, there wasn't too much I think it was like 26 grams something like that and then I'll show you the second time I cleaned it which I think it was like almost triple there was like 60 odd grams of algae um, and now we've got to this so it's doing its job but like I said I don't know whether that's because of the lights I've got on there um, or because of the nutrients because of, when I did my water checks everything was pretty low I think this is majority of this growth is coming from the lights which is not great because it means it's not sucking any of the neutral it's not sucking as much of the nutrients out so now I've halved the time on the lights it's going to be interesting uh, to see how this actually grows now so again it probably be a two three week wait and then I'll do an update and um, yeah we'll be able to see how much algae actually comes off it after that um, and again if the algae doesn't grow as much if it, it's really really slow growing I might bump the lights up a little bit because if there's no nutrients in the water um, and th this won't basically have anything to feed off of it might start dying off so I'm gonna have to eventually find that healthy balance of how much light I give it to how much nutrient is in the water um, so yeah it's a bit drastic for change I was going to slowly drop the timings down but I think I'm just going to go for half just because of how this is like three weeks if if that two and a half weeks um, I'll be able to show you how how long ago it was since I did the last scrubbing um, but yeah it's I've halved it just because I want to try and see if it makes any real difference or not if it doesn't then I might even cut the lights down even more I might even cut it down to four hours um, so it's basically purely running on nutrients in the tank and then once all that gets depleted obviously I can add the lights but yeah let's quickly get all this scraped and we'll see how much is there I'm not going to show you it because I've shown it before go back to watch my old videos if you want to see how I clean all this up and again this is how it looks after I've scraped it and it is looking better I think last time I scraped it all the little holes in the mesh there was, a, there was quite a few gaps in the mesh and now you can see if I'm trying to get closer and focus the majority of them are literally solid with algae and again I'm not being gentle with this I'm not tickling it I'm literally scraping it as hard as I can to try and get as much of the algae off um, this is all just residue and yeah this is how much I've produced again it is grim I know but there's not as much here I'm probably guessing oh how much do you think I reckon about four, I've not waited I'm gonna say about 42 grams so this is sort of in between what I harvested last time and the first time um, but we'll chuck this on the scales to see how much there is. We've got our zero, so we're going to chuck this in. And oh, 25. Okay, so it's kind of about the same. It feels heavier. It's probably because I've not squeezed. Oh, I've pretty much squeezed all right. But yeah, so there you go. It's about the same amount that we got the last time. Now, I have harvested this early. It's probably a week and a half early. Um, but again, I really wanted to get the timer down basically. But yeah, so that's, that's why I've got this time, which is good. So we'll get this back on the tank, get it running again, and um, yeah, we'll see how we do with half the light, basically. And we're back up and running, so yeah, happy days. So yeah, so I'll be doing another update in probably about three weeks, maybe four weeks. I will be checking this weekly, just see how much growth appears. If there's not a lot of growth, I'm probably gonna leave it. If it does grow loads again, then I might jump back to doing another scraping in three weeks time. Um, but yeah, we'll see how it goes. But um, yeah, other than that, I'm really happy with the tank. I, I know I keep saying it, I do need to redo, you can't really see there, but there's a little pipe that feeds this. I do need to redo that at some point, and I do need to rip all this apart, because it is absolutely garbage down there. So I do need to do all that as well. Again, it's just, just finding the time. Um, once I do a full clean on this, I probably won't touch it again for another 10 years. Um, but it'd be good to get all the pumps out, give them a good clean, good maintenance check, and things like that. Um, but yeah, other than that, it's all sweet. Um, I'm probably going to do a little scraping of this tank as well. I'm probably going to get all this algae off the glass at some point. Because I think if I can get all the algae gone in the main tank, um, once it's got no real purchase in there, hopefully that means the algae scrubber will take over and this stuff will basically start to fade away completely and just not be there at all. That's the tank as it sits and the plans that are coming. So thank you for watching. Uh, I really do appreciate it. Make sure you subscribe so you do see the next stuff coming out. Um, 
just because this is a, a work in progress. This is a big project, um, especially when I get my little field of coral down here. So I'll give you a quick hint of what's going on. I, I think this is the first time I mentioned it, but all of this, I want to turn into a bit of a garden now. I want to put coral in now. I've got to be careful because I hear me will munch pretty much everything. But I think I'm going to have a zoanthid garden. That's what I want to do. So I'm going to fill all this up with, I'm not even going to fill up with sand. All this sand I'm going to push back under the rocks. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of this rock out and redo all this because I think I mentioned I'm getting rid of these pumps because they just keep killing everything. And I'm going to use a return pump with a tube system that goes all the way around here. I'll probably get two if I have to. And they're gonna blast water down behind the rocks and blast water out of the rocks, just to make sure there's no dead spots in here, basically. Um, what I wanna do is once I take some of this rock out, I'm gonna smash it up into sort of pieces that sort of size. And I'm gonna randomly place them around, just on the rock on the floor here. And then I'm gonna buy loads of different types of zoas. And I'm basically gonna make like a it's going to be like a little maze almost it won't be a maze but it'll just be like these little humps of rock and then there'll be all zoanthids growing on the top and then they'll eventually grow over the rock and down onto the floor and i just want this whole section here to be basically a little mini zoanthid garden i don't think he'll mess about them too much um but yeah that's that's what i'm planning so bear with me this is going to be a long process but pro i promise you it's going to be well worth it um the other thing i want to do is this is fairly noisy you can hear the pumps and things like that. I'm going to be doing some massive upgrades down here to the pumps to try and make this as silent as possible. Because this is my bedroom. Where I'm stood here, this is my bed just that I'm laying up against. So I need this to be dead quiet. It's not too bad now because I tend to have a bedroom fan on. But yeah, I'm going to be doing some upgrades to this with some um, foam on the doors and things. I can see I have foam stuff down there just to try and make this thing as silent as possible. So yeah, again, if you want to see that, make sure you subscribe. But yeah, right, that's it. I'm going to stop talking. That's the end. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.